In this tutorial, we'll discuss the Python library SymPy and how we can use it to convert regular Python strings into SymPy compatible objects. Now SymPy, for those of you who don't know, is a scientific computation library that creates expressions and then they can solve them, put substitute values into them, differentiate them, integrate them, and do a whole bunch of other things. Okay, so it's pretty cool that way. Now, SymPy, this video is about SymPy and how we can use it to in this tutorial, we'll discuss the Python library SymPy and how we can use it to convert Python strings into SymPy compatible expressions. Now, for those of you who don't know, SymPy is a Python library that's used to perform, you know, mathematical operations like differentiation, integration, and a bunch of other cool stuff. But for that, it needs an expression, okay? A SymPy compatible expression, okay? but we can't do that with regular strings, okay? Because usually when we're making programs, when we're making software that involves taking input from the user, okay? Let's say that we're taking as equation, an expression from the user, and we want to solve it and give him the answer, okay? Let's say that we made a very simple calculator-like program like this. The problem is that the user is gonna give us input as a string, because all those functions that you see, like input over here, these functions take input in strings, right? But how are we gonna use this string with SymPy? We can't, because SymPy is differentiate functions, integrate functions, they won't work with that string. But SymPy knows this is a problem, so it has given us two functions that we can actually use to convert regular Python strings into SymPy compatible expressions. So that's what this video is about, okay? So the first function is Simplify, from simplify, import simplify, okay? The second one is simpy.parsing.simpyparser import parse expression, all right? So we'll discuss these two functions in today's video and discuss which is the better and more recommended approach, all right? So without further ado, let's begin. Let's give ourselves this string over here and we need to convert this into, uh, into a SymPy compatible expression, okay? So what I'll do is first use simplify. Let's create a variable called expression, and in this we'll store the returned value from simplify, which is a SymPy expression, as we'll see. And then I just pass in this string into the simplify function, okay? And let's just print out the value of expression to confirm that it's actually being converted correctly, okay? There we go. There's 2x plus 5, okay? But we don't know whether this is just a string or the actual SymPy object, right? So just to confirm, let's try substituting the value, okay, of x, and let me just create this symbol for x first. I'll import symbols over here. Okay, symbols, create a symbol for x, now I can substitute the value in here. So if I substitute the value of two for x, what will this give us? Two multiplied by two plus five, that's nine. Okay, so if I run this, we should get nine. All right, great, we did. That means that this is a SymPy expression now. XPR is now storing a correct valid form of this, of this string. Okay, we just converted this to a SymPy expression. Now you can do whatever you want. You can do uh, differentiation, integration, apply limits on this, do whatever you want. Okay, and by the way, for those of you who are interested, I have links to these tutorials in the description below because we have a ton of videos on SymPy and trust me, there's a lot of content in SymPy. There's a lot to learn. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do. So do check those out, all right? There is one parameter I wanna look at before we move on to the parse expression function. Okay, and that's the evaluate parameter. Okay, uh, what this does is, well, it's easier to show you. I'll just change this expression a bit. Okay, I'll change it to five upon two plus three upon two, or three upon, two upon three. Okay, and let me just remove this for now because evaluate by default is true, I think. So let's just run this. All right, there we go we got the value 19 upon six, okay? We didn't get this, okay? You might have expected to receive five upon two plus two upon three, but we didn't. 
we received an evaluated value, okay? And that's what the evaluate parameter controls. If you make evaluate is equal to false, it's gonna give you the exact string, okay? It did not evaluate it, okay? So this is just something you might wanna keep in mind. You might not be getting the value that you want or the expression that you want. The value, the value remains the same, obviously. It's still the same expression, but not in the same format, okay? Not in, in the same form. It doesn't have the same terms, okay? So you might wanna keep this in mind. All right, so let's discuss parse expression now. And it's actually very, very similar. You just need to do the exact same thing, okay? Just swap them out and voila. Okay, if I run this, it's gonna work. That's all you have to do, okay? And if I remove evaluate, both of them have evaluate as a parameter, by the way. There we go, 19 upon six, okay? So that's parse expression for you and that's simplify for you. But what is the difference? Okay, why are they two functions? So the thing is that the simplify function behind the scenes uses the built-in function eval in Python. The eval function is a bit dangerous, all right? The reason being that the eval function is used to execute commands, okay? It can, it can execute actual commands. Okay, you, you can look this up in more detail later on. You can find plenty of, plenty of content in, on it online. But the basic gist of it is that the eval function, if someone with malicious intent actually gave some potentially dangerous input, he could potentially, for example, uh, give you instead of an expression, an actual Python command or not just a Python command. I think he can also pass in uh, regular commands that you would use on your terminal, on your command prompt. Okay, and your Python eval function will actually execute that. And that can cause problems. Okay, it's, it's a loophole. And unless you have validation checks on the input, this can cause some problems. Okay, so it's actually recommended that you use parse expression. This is more safer and there's no drawbacks really. Okay, so yeah, this is officially recommended by the SymPy documentation as well. So do use parse expression over simplify, okay? So that's really all there was to this video. We've discussed pretty much everything you need to know about converting strings to expressions. I hope you guys learned something new today. I hope you guys subscribe to the channel, stay updated with more content in the future. Leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys in a later video.